What's up, y'all? Yo, it's yo, yo. You want an intro? Uh, I'm Madison Swan. Mad Swan? Mad Swan, no. <laughs> Whatever you want. I think they need, yep, they need a flex to start this off, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, that's right. So this is going to be a video cast as well as a podcast um, on the Laura Cross podcast. So me and Madison Swan do a lot of similar things and we're kind of in a lot of the same niches, except for porn. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm not there yet, guys. You, you won't find Keep her. Keep waiting there but um when she does give her all your money all your money <laughs> um but anyways yeah uh I feel like we are belly fetish petite fit competitive wrestlers we're like lifting fitness carry. models slash fetish wrestlers yeah 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 for sure yeah um so yeah, anyways, uh, I met Madison Swan at a meetup shoot with Kim Chi, who is also a wrestler and a session wrestler, does jujitsu and yep. all the fetishes. And I know Kim Chi because I did my first official session with her. Yeah. Um, almost five years ago. Yeah, um, yeah, Kim Chi is a very, very good person. Brings, brings a lot of good people love together you, too. Kim. We love you, Kim. <laughs> um, if you don't follow Kimchi, follow Kimchi. Yeah, follow Kimchi. She's uh, amazing. Kimchi fetish. She's a kinky little ninja. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um. So, let's dive into how you got into fetish. We might want to start you from the lifestyle end. Um, it kind of all starts out at the same time, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, essentially how this all started for me, I was a 19-year-old little girl, and I had just gotten out of a relationship, which was the, you know, possessive, controlling type, and I was over it after two years. I had been alienated from all my friends, had no self-esteem. I went to basically hang out with uh, my current roommate, actually, um, who you can find on Fun Wrestling Rooms. Her name is Charlie. Um, and she basically uh, invited me to like some pool party where I met um, a model friend of mine uh, who's kind of retired now. Red color, right? Because <laughs> you're beating him. And 
a kid. Yeah. He would, I would literally be like sitting in what I now know is called a schoolgirl pit. <laughs> and uh, be like slapping him in the face <laughs> repeatedly. And he would be like laughing and crying at the same time. And his face would get this beat cherry red. <laughs> so I was like a wrestling dog before I even knew I was a wrestling dog. Like actually beating them. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, we actually camped out uh, last yes. night. Yes, we did. It's like one of my first times actually. But I took Laura glamping. Glamorous camping. I slept right there. Right she there. had a whole bed. With pillows. Multiple pillows. Yes, she had multiple pillows. <laughs> but the, the back door was open so it was outside. It was and it was windy. It was. It was very windy. I set my hammock up between a tree and uh, my van and slept in that. It's crazy. She was like swaying. <laughs> I was like, how are you asleep right now? It rocked me to sleep. I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that magic yet. I'm like, I suck at camping. So I would <laughs> say the difference between Laura and I and the way we travel is Laura uh, flies a lot and built in hotels and does built in hotels a lot which is cool like I love that shit too I love it yeah. but uh I like to drive around the country yeah. in one giant big loop for six months at a time and then uh from there basically like when I get to a city I book my work I book the nights for the hotels if I don't have enough work for a city I'm fucking out somewhere camping <laughs> I ain't fucking booking a hotel for four days if I only have one day's worth of work. Yeah. Like, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we, um, I just hit, uh, a diamond status in Hilton. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> and I'm like, I just, like, fly so much. They've started upgrading me to first class, which is, like, so confusing. Because there's all these fancy people in their suit jackets, and then I'm still dressed like this. He's sexy as me. <laughs> um, but uh, some interesting conversations that I get to have on those lines. Oh yeah, for real. They ask me what I do, I tell them. Fuck yeah, I, I tell them too. <laughs> what do you do for a living? What? Well, what do I do? What do I not do? What do I not do, yeah. <laughs> what can I do for you? Exactly. <laughs> Here's my card. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so Madison Swan is a uh, climber. Oh, yeah. And um, a multi-day uh, camper, hiker, backpacker. Um, so more more hippie vibes. Definitely more hippie. Yeah. And I'm straight up wearing a quartz crystal, like. <laughs> yeah. And hard sunglasses right now, which makes me extra hippie. So, she free climbed a flat iron um, a couple the of days ago. second flat iron in Boulder, Colorado. And the route is called Freeway, and it is a 5.0 climb. It is technically a fifth class climb, and it's approximately 600 feet. But your friend did slip once. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was trying some sketch ass moves. You know, decided it wasn't worth it. Started down climbing, slid a little bit. Uh, Excitement. Horrifying. Horrible. Horrifying. He was fine. <laughs> um, but he sketched himself out. Yeah. Um. So I feel like we are like equally kinky on our personal lives. Yeah. I think. I think so. Yeah. Um, so what right now is your favorite thing to shoot? Let's say your favorite style of session um, and your favorite hobby. I know a couple of these answers, but. Uh, well, my favorite hobby. 
hobby is rock climbing or <laughs> camping or backpacking or anything outside. Um, my favorite style of session is basically semi-comp. Um, I really, however, I will always have a passion for my fantasy wrestling sessions. Like, love that shit too. Judged in who I am from my significant other. 
Yeah. Yeah, with the um with the monogamy poly versus type stuff, yeah. Poly. Yeah. What was the phrase you said about um date your own species? Yes. Yeah, so, I like that. So I have a um shaman friend, Amy Francesca. She's an amazing woman and a spiritual healer and she has been telling me for a few years now. <laughs> And I love you. Uh, that I need to date my own species. And um, that like really resonated with me um, in the fact that like there's different types of people in relationships. There's non monogamous people and there's monogamous people. Um, I even have a friend who's struggling with that right now in that he's like married but sleeping around on his wife and I told him I was like you need to conversate with her you yeah. guys need to talk about this you are clearly on different like planes in the relationship level and it's not fair to her you know agree so it, it's something you have to like learn and just come to realize like there's certain things your personal relationships that are important to you and you need to prioritize those yeah in the person you're trying to date yeah i um so et ethical non-monogamy comes up a whole lot yeah on this um and yeah i think that if and, um, I, you know, I try not to judge people because I don't know what other people's relationships and marriages are like. But I think that if you feel strongly enough to be, I don't, I'm going to call it selfish, to not um, suck it up and have a hard conversation, to be truthful yeah. with your partner, um, then, like, I, I don't know. You need to, you need to end it, or you need to have the conversation. Yeah. Like, I think that is the. Uh, I think most people would agree that's the ethical thing to do. Yeah. I had that conversation probably for five years, and, yeah. I, and then it never got better. And uh, like, I know it sucks. Yeah, Nobody wants to do that. It's really hard. That. It's really hard. Yeah. And it's definitely hard when you have different perceptions and you're like, I don't love you less because I want to hook up with somebody else. Like, I still love you. I want you to be my primary. Yeah. Like, or what other people call anchor partners. Like, it depends on your phrasing, right? Like, yeah. But it's important to communicate and have boundaries. Yeah. Um. 
type of monogamy. Yeah. And so then we tried, you know, different tactics. Like, you know, I only uh, want you to sleep with my friends, which I thought was ridiculous, actually. I was like, I would actually prefer not to sleep with any of your friends. Yeah. That would be horrible, I think. Um, and then it was... Yeah. Um. So 
But anyway, so the, that, that just went wrong for us. And um, now that he is doing this stuff um, full time with me. Yay. Yes. So awesome. Right. Love it. Yeah. Like we get to um, play together and that works a whole lot better for us. Um, yeah. I don't really want to be with a guy without him there. Like maybe, maybe a hot girl, but, but not, but not, <laughs> but, not but not a guy. <laughs> Anyways, um, sorry for breaking all of the male hearts out there Aww, that are listening. Oh yeah. Except I'm single. Yeah, swoop, swoop medicine swan up. We might not be able to though. Yeah, she, she travels a lot. She hard to get. Yeah. <laughs> I'm complex. <laughs> um. But anyways, um, so what are you going to be up to next? Well, right now, Laura and I are actually currently, right this moment, driving in Missouri. Um, I've to, never been. Um, yeah, so we're here. And we're going to be doing some mud wrestling this week. Woo! So that's going to be actually a four-girl tag team, me and Laura are tag team partners, of course, Duh. and uh, against uh, two other badass, bitchy looking, uh, tatted, tatted uh, wrestlers, yeah. one being Irene Silver and the other being Gracie Rose on Twitter, um, and basically it's going to be an awesome mud wrestling tag team match. Yeah, they're totally going Very down. Pretty. Very messy. We're gonna follow all the rules and beat them fair and square. Fair and square for sure. <laughs> like, I mean, come on. You think we don't follow rules? Yeah. That's right. Lift weights. Earth day. Earth day. Earth day. She does it every day. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we did, we have a workout video coming out together soon. Oh, yeah. She can squat as much as I can, so. I had no idea. Right? It was, I was like, Imagine if I actually practiced squatting. Yeah. You could be like crazy strong. I was like, well, I you should train me, right, guys? Right. I'm like, I work so hard at this and we're equals. It's fine. This is off, <laughs> this is off the couch. <laughs> um, but I was like, I'm doing exercises. You want to? Like, yeah, sure. Whatever. Try it. I'll and I'm try like, it. here's your micro bikini. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, put this on. By the way, you must look sexy. Exactly. I'm good that's not a big deal. So, where can people find you and what can they book you for? Um, well, you can definitely find me on Twitter at MadisonSwan7. You can find me on Session Girls, Madison Swan. Um, you can find me on the Face Crack and the Instagram. <laughs> and Um, how can they book you? Oh, what, what can they you, book what you, you for? What do you want to book me for? I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, you only get so many options. <laughs> Mostly I do a lot of, like, um, fantasy and or semi-com, uh, boxing, wrestling type stuff. Um, you can also book me for more fetishy type stuff. I do, um, spanking sessions. I will spank you. You can also spank me. I will actually... <laughs> Actually like being spanked. Um, and uh, I do some like bondage tickling and some bondage, um, but you have to have super solid references yeah. for the bondage stuff if I've never sessioned with you before. Um, what else? What else is there? Uh, Lift and carry. Yeah. Lift and carry is a good one. Um, if you're approximately 200 pounds or less, I can lift you in a few different holds. The less you weigh, the more holds I can do. Yep. Yeah. Um, you can carry me too if you want. What I'm tiny. What about photo shoots or fetish producers? Oh, I definitely, definitely work with fetish producers, bondage, tickling, spanking, obviously wrestling, boxing, fighting stuff. Um, additionally, um, 
boulders on some boulders. Oh, that'd be hot. See, if you want to do an outdoor photo shoot, way more game for it. And I'm even like more willing to like give you a discount on those. That was that's that where I would see you. That's like I'll camp out there and like it'll be so beautiful and I'll like love my life. Um, outdoor photo shoots way more my theme than like indoor studio stuff. Yep. Um, I can do your artsy fartsy glam if you want. <laughs> and that's how she feels about it. <laughs> oh, well, cool. All right. It's time to sign off here. Uh, we will probably have Madison Swan back. Oh, we hope so. Yes, we do. <laughs> it should be fun. Awesome. Well, I think we need a flex sign off. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, later. <laughs>